I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important question based on arithmetic sequences and series. The question here is if b plus c minus a over a, c plus b minus b over b and a plus b minus c over c are in arithmetic sequence, then prove that 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c are also in arithmetic sequence. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, this is one of those beautiful questions which makes a lot of difference for being on the top or not. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now, let's look into the solution of the question which can put you right there on the top. So, there are many strategies with which you could work. We are given that b plus c minus a over a and c plus a minus b over b and a plus b minus c over c, they are in arithmetic sequence, right? Means they have a common difference, right? Now, if they have a common difference, we can actually find the common difference and then see how we could go about with 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c, right? But here is another very interesting solution, a strategy, I should say. Well, if they are in arithmetic sequence, then adding or subtracting a number from this should not make any difference. You notice a and minus a. How about if I add 2 to each? If I add 2 to each, then what do we get? Well, we get b plus c minus a plus 2a, right? So, so then, if you add 2 to each, we get b plus c minus a plus 2a, right? over a as the first term, the second becomes c plus a minus b plus 2b over b and the third term will be a plus b minus c plus 2c, right, over c and that will give you three terms which are a plus b plus c over a, right, and that is c plus a plus b or you can again write this as a plus b plus c over b and the third one here is also a plus b plus c in the numerator how the denominator is c you get the idea so these three terms are in arithmetic sequence perfect now if i factor out a plus b plus c then what do i get so i get a plus b plus c and then the three terms will become 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c. Now, these three should be in arithmetic sequence, right? And that is how we show that these terms are, in fact, in arithmetic sequence. Do you like this method, right? That is how we could do it. I hope you appreciate, if you feel like, you can always like and subscribe to my videos. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given to make a difference. Thanks for your time and all the best.